Hello everyone, I am B from uh, France, Paris. I am currently in the US visiting my favorite auntie in California. And I'm really, really enjoying all the excitement about pumpkin. And well, of course, I decided to make some pumpkin muffins. Um, I will make them with tiger nut flour and uh, so that they will be vegan, gluten-free, grain-free, AIP compliant, nut-free because tiger nut is not a nut, uh, even though, well, the name is kind of confusing. And I'm going to use this flour. It's extremely good. I tried it. It's uh, extra fine, so you won't get the greedy um, texture that sometimes some tiger nut flowers have. Uh, this one is really, really good. Um, and well, let's uh, let's start together. So I'm going to pour my tiger nut flour in the bowl, uh, and of course I'm going to scrape my bowl so I don't really don't want to miss any of my ingredients. I highly, highly, highly recommend weighing ingredients using a kitchen scale because you need accuracy, and then after that. If you need to scrape anything, do scrape. Use a spatula, even your fingers, of course, don't, wa don't forget to wash your hands before cooking uh, or baking. And do not forget to scrape, like I'm doing right now. So I'm mixing all the dry ingredients first. This are uh, the tiger nut flour, the starch, these are all my spices together. I already mixed them together. Baking soda. So, first we need to mix them together very well. So now that uh, all the dry ingredients are well combined, I will add all the wet ingredients. So, well, because I'm in the US, I'm using canned pumpkin puree. I can't use that in France because it doesn't exist. We, well, we do have pumpkins, but it's not as popular and we don't have all this excitement around pumpkins. When I'm in France, I, I use only fresh, on homemade pumpkin puree. Now I add apple cider vinegar and then vanilla extract and finally maple syrup and of course I scrape my cup you will find all the quantities and the complete recipe on my blog. It's my most popular recipe on the blog. It uh, went completely viral when I first published it. Well, I think it was already three years ago. And it's still one of my blog's most popular recipes. Well, I'm using my spatula to mix, but you can absolutely use a spoon, it doesn't matter. Then fill all the muffin cups with batter all the way to the top and put it in the oven. 12 minutes for many muffins and 25 for regular size muffins. 12 minutes later, let's check if they're ready. So, insert, and then it comes out clean. There you go. Et voila! 